All right, friends, um, I'm gonna do a video. Uh, this is part two, protein synthesis needs to that breakdown. Oh, look, I'm eating a bunch of shrimps here, Borowski. Look at all those shrimps, bro. Boom. Um, this guy, Steve, that always writes me on my channel, man. He's like, uh, muscle damage is not the primary driver of hypertrophy. Yeah, it's hypertrophy means something is getting bigger. The primary driver of hypertrophy is protein synthesis needs to exceed that breakdown. You got to be in a positive nitrogen balance, meaning anabolism, anabolic. But the driver, uh, the trigger, the trigger to get to have that hypertrophy is muscle damage. Without it, you can't get a donation of these nuclei from the satellite cell because they're only activated in muscle damage. That's why I put those things. It says a unique feature of untrained muscles. They get muscle damage. See that? Untrained, unaccustomed, unfamiliar. Does it say trained people get damaged? No. That's why they say, what is the repeated bout effect? Want to know what the repeated bout effect is? Really, it's the protective effect. What is an adaptation to protect you? If you drink alcohol, what does it do? stops working why does it stop working because the body's shutting off avenues because you're destroying your brain and everything else so it's protecting you from it's called an adaptation it's adapted it doesn't work anymore and then you're like well i need to congest my body with more alcohol i need to destroy it completely because i don't feel a buzz coming off of it that's like muscle damage you're not getting damaged anymore so then you're going into the gym like these guys from crossfit what do they start doing they work out for six hours and then they end up with rhabdo because they broke down proteins. They end up with rhabdo in a stupor, in a hospital, in a coma. Get it, dude? Because you're trying to force something now to break when it's not to be forced. And it has to be repaired and remodeled. So if you've already damaged something repetitively, you have to give it time to repair and remodel. You can't keep coming in for six hours like CrossFitters and then ending up with rhabdo and dying for it. Get it? It's not worth it. That's why, you know, these people like, uh, what's his name, Tony Huge now, he just did a video about, I uh, shouldn't have been naturally wasting your time, uh, busting your health, your joints and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're doing it wrong, of course. But in the real world, you still have to build muscle the real way in the real world, not fakely. Get it, bro? It still has to be done um, real and not fake. And so even if you fake it with drugs, if, what did you build? Oh, I put in the work. Well, you did put in the work to build something fake. That's why it went away. Oh, why did it all go away? Because it was fake, bro. It was fake. Cheers. It was fake, dude. Get it? Fake doesn't work in the real world. Maybe in the fantasy world, in that fantasy world of theirs. But it doesn't work in the real world. And in the real world, you still need to build real muscle in the real world so that you can have longevity and live longer and be stronger and all that kind of stuff. You, that's why you're all suffering after the steroids. They're all suffering and they all have sarcopenia, just like these guys on TRT, like Jason Blaha and all the rest of them. See you in the next one, friends.